tune. I don't have $80. Hmm. I'll do it myself. So first, if you're like most people, you have a ton of crap on the top of your piano. Take it off. Now, wait, how am I gonna tune it? I need to order a tuning kit off Amazon. It costs like 25 bucks. You're gonna get something like this. This is a piano tuning lever, and these are what's known as wedge mutes. You jam them between the strings to mute the ones you're not tuning. But what you're not gonna get is a chromatic tuner. And the one I've been using lately, Ultra Tuner, it works really well. Uh, any chromatic tuner will do. So now that you've got your tools, we're ready to open the piano. This is a spinet piano. Depending upon the size and type of yours, it may open differently. This one flips up like that, and this gives you access to all the strings here for tuning. On to the details. So the first thing you have to do is find middle C. See the tuner there is saying that it's flat, but close. Ultra Tuner has the studio mode where you can see just how far off you are, so it's around seven cents flat. Pull this back so that I can see the hammers hitting the strings and figure out which one is middle C, which one is the one I'm playing, so when the hammer is hitting. So now that's where these wedge mutes come into play. So depending upon what part of the piano you're tuning, you may have one string for the key, down in the bass register, two strings, uh, just below middle C, and down, or three strings per key all the way up the rest of the piano. So if you ever tune to 12 string guitar, you know you gotta do one at a time. So these are for muting string that you're not tuning. So here is the middle C. I can tell that that's the right one because when I touch it with the mute, it changes its sound. So I'm gonna take this wedge mute, and I've, I've cut one of these shorter than the others so that it's a little fatter and doesn't have as thin a, a tip. So I use that for these strings where I can just take this wedge mute and jam it between two of the strings, leaving the leftmost one free to ring. So now when I play that key, I'm only hearing that one string. The other two are muted by this wedge. So that has isolated that first string. So now I just look at it and I follow that string up to the pin that it's attached to. Unlike a guitar, this is direct tuning. It's one to one. So very small movements of the lever will make big changes. It's like tuning a violin or a cello or something like that. A good idea is to always go a little flat and then ease it back up. So this is the hardest part by far is getting the technique of uh, getting accurate lever movements. Um, I found it just takes time. You get better at it and you get faster at it the more you do it. So I'm a little flat. So I'm gonna try to sneak it up just a little bit. Now I'm too sharp. If I go into studio mode on this tuner, it tells me I'm 12 cents sharp. So when you get really close, like your adjustment can literally just be you kind of like leaning on the pin one way or the other, like you're not actually even turning it. Um, what I do is I rest my arm so that I'm literally just sort of like moving my hand to make those adjustments. Um, I'm not really doing a full arm motion that's not accurate enough, so I rest my arm and just sort of move my fingers up or down push the pin slightly in one direction or the other. So that says we're one cent flat. It's pretty close. If you look at stage mode, it's just gonna say it's in tune because that's close enough. Now that we have the first string tuned, we take our wedge mute and you move it, pull it out so it's not muting the middle and right string. And then this I found is the easiest way. You just go to the right side of the entire string group and jam it in there between the rightmost string and the big back plate. Um, and so now the left string and the middle string are both going to ring. So you'll hear that's giving you that sound that you perceive as being out of tune. It's the two waves 
wobbling against each other. At this point, since we have one string tuned, we actually ignore the tuner. Ignore that thing. And just listen. Now drop the second string, the one that isn't yet tuned, the middle one. Drop it flat so that you can hear clearly that it's out of tune. And then bring it up. And then tap it a little bit one way or the other until those two strings ringing together sound like just a single note playing so you lose that wobble. And then you pull the wedge mute completely, go down to the rightmost string, drop it flat, and I overshot slightly there and then I just kind of went tap to get it to go flat just a tiny little bit until those three strings just sound like one cohesive note. And if we look at our tuner when we're done there, let's see what it says. Plus one plus point five. Hold the microphone closer to the strings. Plus one plus two, negative two. Okay, so these things can only be so accurate. So the fact that it's wobbling between two and negative two, that means I'm pretty much dead on the money. Now what you do is you proceed to tune the entire octave from middle C all the way up. So I'm gonna do that now and meet you back here. Hey everybody, thanks for watching part one of my video. Please subscribe so that you can get part two next week. Thanks.